I was actually a teenager when my mom decided that she would start music shows here. At that time, it was the old A.P. Carter Grocery. She had promised my granddad on his deathbed in 1960 that she would do something to preserve the music that he fought so hard to collect. Her way of doing that was to begin music shows here in this little one-room store. The first show, there were so many people here that it spilled out into the parking lot. And in 1976, the building next door, the performance theater, was uh, built. I remember my mom being so worried that when we moved the music from here in this little small space to that huge space next door, that we would lose that closeness and that sense of being connected to the audience. That really didn't, didn't happen. I remember the first time that I came out here, uh, it was just such an honor for me to be able to come to the Carter Fold because I'm coming to the Grand Ole Opry of, of old time music. You know, but it's like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. You know, when people talk about the Carter family around these parts, it's, it's just almost sacred. When you grow up in these mountains and you know what it's like to work hard and they come from a poor background like most everybody else that listened to their music did. It just means so much more and it comes out in their music. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. The shows are all acoustic. They're very much dependent on local talent. We do get people from all over the U.S., but our area is so abundant in terms of talent that I don't have to go very far to book some of the best artists in the nation. One of the bands, I had booked them from West Virginia, and it was their first visit here. And when they got finished, they had a good crowd, but maybe not as big a crowd as a band that is well known. And I told him, I said, I'm sorry, you know, that you didn't get paid more. And he said, Lord, we got paid more than we get paid almost any place we go. And he said, plus you fed me soup, beans, and cornbread. You let my dog come in and sit on the stage. He said, what more could a man ask for? He said, I'd come here and play for free. Take a little break, give the band a rest, and let y'all get a bite to eat and stretch your legs. Remember, you can visit the Carter Family Museum next door or the A.P. Carter Birthplace Cabin. They'll both reopen, and we'll give you a chance to visit their CD table here to the right. Okay, we have a, a billfold that was found in the parking lot, and I think I know who this belongs to. This is one of our artists. So.